What's going on everybody? It is Mikey B of Mikey B Cards here on a beautiful Wednesday morning in West Michigan. The sun is shining. It is still very cold. I'm actually trying to get over a cold myself and I thought, you know what? What better way to cheer me up than to rip open two boxes of National Treasures. Now, National Treasures is one of my absolute favorite sets that Panini puts out every year. I love the cards, I love the RPAs, I love all the specialty things in there. Cut autos, Nike swooshes, laundry tags, veteran autos, dual autos, acetate. This year has the really cool midnight autos. There are so many awesome cards in National Treasures. Now, admittedly, I bought these two boxes uh, from a retailer online. Um, they shipped them to me super fast, so mega thanks to them. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I wanted to wait. I really did. I really wanted to wait because uh, I have two mail days coming from various breaks that I've done with National Treasures. And I have some absolute monster cards coming in from those breaks. And I wanted to open my boxes and do my mail days. But fact of the matter is, these got here. I wasn't really feeling good today. And I'm like, you know what will make me super happy? opening these so I have zero willpower <laughs> I just had to I had to what can I say man I uh, I'm excited to rip them I, I love this product so um, why don't we get to it so National Treasures first and foremost one of the best packaged product out there um, only behind flawless in the suitcase um, I love opening up the wooden crate and hearing the crack of that back uh, tape kind of snap it's the best sound in all of sports cards truly is a really, really fun uh, box to open. They are incredibly expensive. Um, most National Treasures boxes are probably over 800, maybe even 850 right now. I would expect them to climb even higher. Uh, National Treasures, especially with this rookie class with all the quarterbacks and Saquon Barkley and the receivers, there's just a lot of talent loaded in the 2018 class. Therefore, the products are going to get so much more expensive. And we've already started to see that. So if you were going to purchase a box of National Treasures, my advice would be try to do it soon before prices continue to climb. National Treasures is a great product to break, but I say that with one thing. Always know that because there's only four boxes in a case, so right here, this represents half a case. If there's only four boxes in a case and there's only eight cards per box, and only, I believe, six of them are hits, you just have to go in knowing that there's not going to be a ton of cards when it comes to breaks. So you have to be mindful because the boxes are expensive. Teams will be expensive. So there's a higher likelihood that you uh, you may go blank. Uh, you may spend, you know, 200, upper 200s or 300 bucks on the Browns or the Giants. You might not even see a Browns or a Giants card. So just be mindful of that whenever you're doing breaks. There's some teams that have tremendous value. Checkgroupchecklists.com. Uh, they do a great job of telling you what's in the product. Um, and if you do get into some breaks or if you do buy a box on your own, I wish you the best of luck. So let's go ahead and get to ripping. I'm I'm like so jonesing right now. So beautifully, beautifully packaged, as always, uh, are the NTs. They come with the boxes kind of sleeved. Um, I've heard the boxes be referred to as like a cigar box. Um, I don't know. They're just really, really cool. So you got the sleeve, and then that's what the box looks like right there. So now the boxes will have a front seal and a back seal. Some people will rip this back seal. I never do. And I don't do it because when I open it from the front, after just cracking the front seal, I want to hear that sound. It's like the best thing in all cards again. So of course, before I break any product, I always make sure that I have my BCW sleeves, my BCW top loaders, and of course, plenty of one touches for this product. So I'm hoping to use them all. I've got a big old stack of them over there. So I'm just so excited. Let's do this. Hopefully we see some monsters. There's some really cool cards in here, booklets. Okay, ready, ready, here we go. Oh, that is the best sound ever. And this one's pretty thick. You can see that it falls down below. Now, I have seen boxes that have the treasure chest cards, and those come down to almost like down to here. So we're definitely going to get a thicker card, I believe, in here. Maybe a booklet. 
We shall see. Uh, man, I'm just pumped. I am pumped. This one is thick. Let's see what we got here. Got the cool white box here. Got to be somewhat delicate to open. Yeah, it is definitely stacked. I'm going to try not to see the back card. There is a booklet in there. Okay, so you guys don't get to peek. All right, here we go. National Treasures Box 1. Super excited. And our first base card, top 100, really cool set. 3 of 30, 75, my lucky number. This is Derwin James. And these are actually, interestingly enough, these are only 100-point cards. And I don't have top loads for that prepared. So let me grab them right over here. It's like, where are my 100 points? Here they are. I forgot that the base cards are a little thinner. I thought uh, every card was 100 and 130 point, but these are 100 points, so we got our 100 top loads. We're ready to go. All right, so base card number one, Derwin James. Base card number two, 9 of 30, so a shorter print of James Connor. That's got the red foil on it. Santa Connor. There's James Connor. And apparently I have a Steelers box because right behind it I have a Steelers hit for my first hit. And it's Ben Roethlisberger, 33 of 99. 33 goes into 99 um, three times. Ben Roethlisberger, I don't know what he's done three times, but I'm sure there's an eBay 101 in there somewhere. So we have a player-worn franchise treasures patch of Ben Roethlisberger. I'm super excited to get to the latter half of the cards. I want to see what the booklet is. I want to see what the... Uh, if we get a true RPA, it's exciting who my autographs are. Next card looks really cool because I love both of these players. DJ Moore and Calvin Ridley, dual patch, 46 of 99. I'm guessing those are both player-worn, yeah. Player-worn, dual patch. I've been PCing both of these guys. More so Ridley than, uh, than DJ Moore, but... I do have a nice little DJ Moore collection going. I know a lot of people that collect DJ Moore, so I've been trading a lot of his cards. This next card is probably one of the dirtiest cards I've ever seen. Check that out. Ryan Tannehill, 11 of 25. Guys, that thing is filthy. There's the camera view up close. It's got to be game worn. Yeah, game worn. Tannehill, 11 of 25. So he is on the move. He's already out at Miami. Not really sure where he's going to wind up. Will probably be a backup somewhere. Um, nice Tannehill three colored patch. Super, super filthy. And behind it, we have an interesting card because uh, this would be a, a tough card when you're a breaker to get because you always hate it when there's multiple players but here is a here's a four color four patch 20 on a 7 99 MVS Darius Fountain Jamon Moore and Jaleel Scott so almost looks like a traffic light there <laughs> we got green we got white we got yellow we got purple a little bit of everything in that card so really nice quad patch there and then behind it, our first autograph. All right, here we go. Carlton Davis, 61 of 75 for the Bucks. Carlton Davis, this card is super thick. It's definitely a 130. Not an on card, it's a sticker. But a pretty cool looking card there, Carlton Davis. And then... Looks like our booklet is behind it. Let's see what we got here. And then a really nice card underneath. Rookie Jumbo Prime Signatures, James Washington. So this was a Steelers box. My guy Gary B would be happy. 48 out of 99. 
That's cool. So we have what looks like a giant number there. He's three. It almost looks like an eight, but I guess it could be part of the three on card. So really nice booklet there. And then what I've done for the booklets, if you guys haven't seen these, is um, they make these really cool kind of like, I think they're supposed to be like 25 count cards, but what I've noticed is that they are perfect to put your booklet in. They hold it just right. If you're gonna send a booklet, like if you sell it on eBay or through online or whatever, I found that putting one of those filler cards on the front and in the back and then using this 25 count is an excellent way to send them very securely. Because sending them in the top loads, like the extended top loads, or the one touches uh, can be a little tough, so good way to do it. Um, I'm definitely impressed with the next card because it's a guy that I seem to get quite regularly. And lo and behold, Brozen, 81 of 99, on card auto. There's my guy right there. I've got so many good cards of Brozen. And I hear he might be on the move. I don't know. Are they going to draft Kyler Murray? Are they not? Um, got a true RPA coming up. I'm excited for him. I can't really tell who it is, but I think it might be someone from my PC, which is awesome. So Josh Brosen, 81 of 99, on-card autograph there. It's a nice card. And last but not least... Oh, I thought it was going to be someone from my PC. I thought it was Ridley, but it is Christian Kirk. Almost last off the line, 98 and 99, two-color. Now, this is the true RPA for National Treasures, guys. So let me get it uh, Let me get it top-loaded here, and then I'll walk you through it. Because there are several versions of rookie cards that have a patch and have an autograph that even have the rookie card symbol. But the true RPAs for this year's NT kind of have this, I don't even know what to call it, this, this window, kind of trapezoidal window there. Uh, and then uh, they're numbered to 99. There are versions that are jersey numbered, numbered to 25, and so forth. But these are the true RPAs for NT. So if anyone has like those colossal signatures or anything else, we'll see if we get one in the next box. Um, those are not RPAs. These are the RPAs. So nice RPA there of Christian Kirk. So that was box number one. I would say, um, okay, the Rosen kind of saved it. Um, not sure if we got full max value out of that, but still a really, really fun rip. I'm excited to see what's in the second and final box. So here's hoping we get something really sweet, maybe a one-on-one. Uh, my favorite card is a swoosh or a laundry tag maybe even a booklet that they have nameplate booklets that have letters from uh from the players backs of their jerseys so so many cool cards in this product all right you guys ready i got one touches ready to go oh, that's so awesome all right this one is a lot thinner so i would say this is a lot more typical of what you'll see versus the super stick so no treasure chest which is okay I wouldn't know what to do with that card if I if I got one. I know this much. Um, I would hate to have to random that as a break. Because <laughs> that is... How do you random when there's like 24 people on it? Um, I do see what looks like a plate. So I think we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one here, guys. And most of the plates in NT, not all of them, but most of them are autograph. So I think we are going to get an autograph one-on-one -on -one here. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. All right, he's on the move, and he's in our stack. Odell Beckham, 19 of 99. Those of you guys who have a lot of Beckham cards, are you seeing them move right now just because of his you know, new vigor for the game now that he's on the Browns? I think a change of scenery is going to be good for him. It'll be interesting to see what happens in Cleveland with all those targets. So I can tell you this much, Baker's got to be happy. <laughs> Okay, really cool Howie Long here, 21 of 50. Got the purple foil there. That's really cool. Howie. Loved Howie as a player. You know, somebody on one of the morning shows, the football shows, eh, he's all right. <laughs> really cool card here. This will probably go into the PC. 
Marquez Valdez Scantling, 93 of 99 instead of 83. Very close to his jersey number, but a really cool jersey piece. And a throwback uni there for MVS. I'm excited to see what's down at the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's all plate. It's got that little metallic ting to it, so. And hopefully we got an auto one, so. Okay, here we have National Treasures Harrison Smith. 34.49 with a giant napkin there. Whew, that is huge. Player worn. That is a big old napkin. <laughs> Harrison Smith. Vikings have a very dedicated fan base. So I'm a big Dalvin Cook guy, and I really like Adam Thielen and Stephon Diggs as well. But anytime I've always tried to sell Vikings cards, I always have plenty of people wanting them. So got a very good following. Not yet to our first auto, but we do have this card right here, which is Jabril Preppers Century Materials, 19 of 49 for the Browns. So this is kind of a trade box with Odell Beckham <laughs> and now Jabril Peppers. Both having to do with that trade. Beautiful card with the orange surrounding. Nice two-color patch there to 49. And another Century Materials, but we're going way back for this one. How's that? John Elway. One of five. That is sick. Game used. That's awesome. You can definitely tell the jersey's faded. The two-color break there might have even been part of his nameplate or a number. But Emerald, one of five Elway. That is nasty. I was just telling somebody the other day how I have a lot of quarterback uh, autographs, especially those from those older quarterbacks. Elway is one that I do not have, interestingly enough, or I've never had. Never had a John Elway stick, so maybe sometime down the road I'll get one. But Century Material, super, super short print there of Elway. Right behind it, our first autograph card. Connor Williams for the Cowboys, 5 of 49. Interesting, he's got like almost like, um, not a sad face, but just kind of like a meh face. A <laughs> meh face in his signature. Connor Williams for the Cowboys, short print. Once again, a super thick card here. And right behind that, I believe we have three cards left. Yeah. So, oh, the next one's really cool. Here's a Dante Pettis, 98 out of 99. Almost last off the line. So, on card. And now, see, once again, there are people that might say, oh, like me, this is, a, this is an RPA. I mean, it technically is a rookie patch autograph, but... The true, true RPAs are right here. But yeah, super nice card there. Dante Pettis. I do have a lot of friends that are very much into the Niners. So I know that will find a good home via trade somewhere down the line. But big old jumbo knack in there of him. We've got a couple of cards of Pettis um, that I've got coming in, waiting for signatures. So nice stuff there. And wow, cool card. A great card coming up, too. How about that? Cowboys. Looks like a glove patch autograph. One of one, Tony Dorsett. That is sick. Oh, my God. Beautiful signature. Perfectly on sticker. Nice. I don't know what color plate that is. If it says. It does not, but. Player worn, definitely a glove patch there. Uh, you can tell by how shiny it is. I don't know if the camera's catching that, but that is a one of one. So let's make sure we get that in a beautiful one touch. Nice Cowboys hit there. I love how NT does one step further. So printing plate, yep, kind of cool. Printing plate with an autograph. Yep, cool. Printing plate. <laughs> try saying that eight times fast. Printing plate with an autograph and a patch. Very, very cool. Nice one of one there of Tony Dorset. And then our last card, also going into the PC. Super short print. This is sick. Nine of twenty-five. Three beautiful patches on DJ Moore. Part of the Panther 
NFL football, and then you can see some of the logo there underneath. Super short print, 925 DJ Moore. That is nasty. Beautiful card there. Beautiful. Uh, let's put that in 130. All right. All right. So if I had to rate the boxes overall, I would say that, you know, the DJ Moore, the Tony Dorsett, um, Pettis is a nice card. Elway out of five. The NVS is cool. Got the Christian Kirk True RPA, the Rosen autograph. Um, the Tannehill's nice, you know, it is Tannehill. Um, and then the James Washington booklet. So I would say overall, overall did okay. I've seen so many breaks of NT now that I've seen really great cases and really meh cases. I would say that these two boxes as part of the case were okay. They're not bad. I love having a Rosen autograph. Um, that'll go nice into my collection. The Kirk RPA is great trade bait. Same thing with the Elway. The DJ Moore, that's a very nice card. And then, of course, uh, of course, the Dorset um, uh, patch autograph printing plate. So, not bad. Maybe I would rate it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. So, I've seen much better. And I've also seen much worse. And that's the case with NT. So, you have to be prepared at that price point to spend that much and get, uh, get a box that might not be ho-hum. So, anywho, um, I would say overall, though, uh, I would not shy away from the product. Um, every year... I literally only buy about one or two boxes, so that's probably going to be all that I get this year. Um, I'm kind of determined to get a box of Flawless this year, as I've never opened the, um, that as well. The product is amazing. The cards look really great. I love all the on-card autos. I love the booklets and some of the other things, the multitude of cards that they have with the rookies for patch autographs. I love the true RPAs this year. Beautiful set, wonderful cards. My advice is try to probably hop into some breaks. If you're chasing someone in particular, just remember that only so many cards per break, so you, you do have a high probability of not hitting anything or maybe only hitting a patch card, so you have to be cool with that. Um, but if you're cool with that, take a shot. Great, great stuff. National Treasures, as always. Excellent job, Panini. Uh, thus concludes my review, 2018 National Treasures Football. Thanks for watching, everybody, and... Uh, Hope to see you soon. Might be hopping in another couple breaks of these. I don't think I'm quite done yet, but we'll see. So have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to join us on Sunday Fun Days when we do our breaks. And you can find all your break spots and everything else at MikeyBCards.com. You can click the subscribe button right down below. I upload new content a couple times during the week. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have one about the boxes. What would you think? Good, bad, and different? Um, and also catch me online, Twitter or Instagram, Mikey B Cards. So hope to hear from you soon and talk to you guys soon. See you later, fam. Peace out.